Have you ever tried to record two audio sources into your camera? And if so, have you ever gone into DaVinci Resolve and said, hey, what happened to those two audio sources? All I see is one. If you're doing an interview or really, I mean, it could be a, a variety of situations that you might find yourself in when you need to mic up two people. Typically, a DSLR or mirrorless kind of style camera only has one mic input. So there are ways you can actually uh, record two mics into a camera. Panasonic, for instance, has this uh, XLR adapter that you can buy for some other cameras. So you can record two XLR inputs and it takes those two mono feeds and then converts them into one stereo feed in camera. If you have something like a Rode Video Mic Go, you can get two of these and then there's a little uh, Y splitters that you can buy that'll take the 3.5 millimeter uh, input and then uh, you can put two of those into there and then the other end goes into the camera. So there's a variety of ways you can find to record two mics into a camera. However, once you've done that and you open up Vin DaVinci Resolve and I'm going to pull some of these clips in here. So both of these clips were recorded uh, in, the, in the manner that I'm describing. So when you pull them into your timeline, you'll notice that there's only one waveform. That might be fine if the talent was uh, far enough apart that you're not getting any proximity effect or like overlap between the two audio sources and, and phasing issues, etc. You might be fine with having just one stereo file. However, if they are standing, you know, really close together, like in this case, um, you're going to notice that, you know, the audio from this guy is going to be picking up in this mic and vice versa. And that can be a problem. It just sounds, you know, you'll hear it if that, if you run into that issue. So one way you, you know, you might want to deal with that is to be able to pull down the audio from the mic of the person who's not talking and then bring it back up when that person is talking and vice versa. But you can't do that when you only have one waveform in stereo. So I'll show you how to, how to deal with this. So, uh, you can, you know, just highlight each individual clip or uh, shift click or control click and highlight multiple clips that you know have um, two audio sources going into them and then hit Alt A or Option A on a Mac or just right click and then go to Clip Attributes. And then usually it pops up um, on the video tab and this is where you can change like frame rate, etc. Uh, so yeah, just click over to the audio tab and you can see here how it's set to stereo, one track, and then down here you've got embedded channel one and embedded channel two. So those are your two audio sources, but you want them to be broken out into two tracks. Now, it doesn't really matter if you change this to mono or stereo, because remember when you're recording vocals, it's just gonna be a mono track anyway. So you can leave that on stereo or you can change it to mono. For this one, change that to mono and then add in another track and then just change this one to embedded channel two and then hit okay. So now when we drag these both down into the timeline, we now have two separate audio sources. It's packed with history. And I always say we are preserving the past while preparing for the future. So yes, we could go to Lowe's just as you would typically do. You go buy new because it's easy. No, a little bit of effort. So yeah, you can hear now that his mic uh, is the one that has the louder waveform there. You can tell by looking at the waveforms which mic is which person. And then so and you could just, when he's talking and you don't want the other mic to bleed over, you can just add a couple of, I don't know, those are called keyframes or whatever for audio, but then just bring this audio down and then you won't have any of those phasing issues or you know overlap issues in the mic. That's pretty much it. I know it's a really simple thing, but um, it's something that I kind of had to just fool around with. And um, it's something that I didn't really ever think of because I never had to record two audio sources into one camera before. So if you have that issue and you don't know what to do with the audio in post-production in DaVinci Resolve, then I hope that was helpful. And yeah, hopefully that was helpful. That's about it. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching.